What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys some competitive gameplay, S&D, of course, on the map, Biolab, and I believe, I, I'm going to show you the first five rounds of this, that includes one losing round, and I believe by the end of this clip I'm showing you I go 10-1, and one, so that's pretty good. Uh, the gameplay was fairly fast-paced for how S&D plays on Advanced Warfare, so enjoy that in the background. Um, today's topic is, of course, the ranked playlist, my thoughts on it, what needs to be fixed. Um, this video kind of will have somewhat of a negative vibe, mainly because I'm focusing on things that need to be fixed, because that's what really matters to me right now. I want things to be fixed to make it better. So first, let me explain the ranked playlist if you don't know what it is or how it works. So it's the 4v4 mode built into the game that you can go into, and it goes through the game modes right now of Hardpoint, CTF, S&D, Uplink, and Momentum. Now, the and then you, you're placed in divisions. You start out in the Bronze Division, and you have to work your way up. So it goes Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Master, and Grandmaster. Now, what you have to do is you have to get 100 points to level up, and then w once you get those 100 division points, you, you normally get 15 to 20 per match. You then have a promotion series where you have to play um, two or three games depending on how many you win. You have to win two out of three games and then you are promoted. If you lose, then you're back in that division you were in. So, and that works all the way up to Master. Once you get into Masters, it then shows you your total amount of points, which for everybody I know is 505 or it should be right around there unless you got a weird number, but it should be around 505 points, and then it just keeps adding your points up. Now, I haven't been able to find any solid information on how to get into Grandmasters, but my take on it is that it's the person with the most amount of division points. Um, I could be wrong on that. I've been looking through Reddit and um, all sorts of little forums and everything, and nobody really seems to know for sure yet, so if you know, or if you have a link or you have inside information, let us know because I'd love to hear how to get into Grandmasters for sure. Alright, so now that you know what the ranked playlist is, essentially, let's talk about the things that I think need to be fixed. So, right now, basically right now, it feels like a just slightly better version of Clan v Clan from Ghost. And here's here's why basically. First of all, we needed we need updated rules. Right now, I, I understand that the game just released, and so they're very busy, and the rule sets are changing very very quickly and rapidly. So I can be a little lenient with this. I understand if it takes them a while to catch up with it, but but what we need is we need number one momentum out. Uh, number two, we needed we need the respawn delay on hard point of 2.5 seconds we need some of the bands we need score streak bands for sure um, just those sorts of things because it's making it not as competitive by not having those rule sets in place another thing we need is we need a way to see other players ranks right now you can't see them at all and that's very very frustrating because then you can get teammates that are absolutely awful and then be playing people that are supposed to be really really good um, typically not a huge issue for me personally, because I usually go in with at least one other person and we can usually carry it, but that's just something to watch out for if you're going in by yourself. Um, also, I don't think this game is putting you in lobbies with people of similar rank yet. I don't know if that's just because not many people are playing it or haven't reached those ranks yet, but it feels like I keep getting put in lobbies with bronze, silver, gold players while I'm in Masters, and they just don't seem to know what they're doing. It doesn't it, it doesn't really feel competitive. It feels more like a public match, only in a 4v4 setting, kind of like team tactical playlist sort of thing. So if, if it would start putting us in lobbies with similar ranks, it could feel a lot more competitive. Um, I know I enjoyed the, uh, the league play system from Black Ops 2 a lot, and this would go a long ways towards making it very, very similar. Uh, next thing is we need a penalty for backing out of the game early. Team, If you go in without a full team, it is very likely that your teammate or teammates that aren't in your party are going to back out of the game if they die like once. 
it happens all the time. I don't know why they do it. it. I mean, obviously, there's not really any penalty besides losing points, but it's very, very frustrating. You wind up having to play 2v4, 3v4. You know, it's just, it's not... It's not fun for anybody really, unless you want that extra challenge, but it's it's still very, very frustrating. Um, also, there needs to be no join session. Right now, if you don't want to play by yourself, if you play by yourself, you're going to get put into games in the final round of S&D or down 200 points in hard point, and then you're just going to lose 20 points. Like within, You're just going to spawn in, and then, oh, it's over, lose your points. Very, very frustrating. That is something that needs to be fixed as soon as possible that's one of the more frustrating things in it but um overall rank playlist is definitely better than public matches i feel like 4v4 runs a lot smoother so i'm going to continue to play it if i'm not playing competitive matches but it if you could if sledgehammer would fix those things that i talked about i feel like it would be a lot better i feel like it would be on par with the black ops 2 league play system then and it would be a lot more fun to play a lot more people would be playing it but that is, of course, just my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think, um, if, what you think is good about it, what you think is bad, what needs to be fixed. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.